This is an introduction to Haiku Deck, which is a free uh, presentation tool which is available online at haikudeck.com or as an app for iOS devices. Um, this little uh, demonstration is actually screencasted on an iPad, but everything I'm doing here you can do on the Haiku Deck website as well. So where I'm navigating to the app here, alternatively you would just navigate to haikudeck.com. From the Haiku Deck dashboard, which is where we are at the minute, we can scroll through presentations that we've previously created to play through them again. So if I choose this presentation, for instance, I can click the play button to view my presentation. Uh, what I can do with Haiku Deck using on the iPad, I'll swipe through the presentation slide by slide. But of course, again, if you were using this on the PC in a browser, you would just use your arrow keys or mouse clicks to navigate through it. Haiku Deck is uh, focused on these very beautiful images, um, which act as the backdrop to single concise points within your presentation. If we want to create a new Haiku Deck here on the iPad, I just click the plus uh, symbol at the very bottom center of my screen and um, that'll launch a new presentation and ask me to give it a title um, so again I'm keying this here in my iPad keyboard um, but if you were doing this online in your internet browser you'd just be using your normal computer keyboard to do this the next thing we're asked to do then is choose a theme for our Haiku Deck presentation at this bar along the top. And I really this the main component of the theme is the font that we're using. And there's some over here with a little dollar symbol in the top right hand corner. Those are premium elements that you would have to pay for to use, but many are available for free, including the ones that I'm navigating through at the minute. So I'm going to choose this origami theme. I quite like the font there, and that's my theme chosen. Once I've chosen my text, it's time to actually move on to building our presentation. And the way that this works really is by navigating through these four icons that you can see at the left of my iPad screen, red, blue, green, and yellow. And as we work through each of these icons, we're going to build up our slide. And once we've finished with the yellow icon, that's our single slide finished. It's a very simple process. The top icon then is choosing the format. Do we want a title slide? Do we want a list slide? Do we just want some content some information added to because this is our first slide I'm going to choose a title slide um, and pick that as my format I'm then asked to tap to edit but again if you were using this on your home computer you would be clicking into this icon and using your keyboard to add in the text um, Haiku Deck resizes the text for me to the, the appropriate size to fit into the frame that I'm using um, and it offers me um, a little extra space to add a subheading to my Haiku Deck slide as well if I want. So just keying, through, keying that into the presentation application, I'm starting to build up my first slide of this particular presentation. Once I'm done with that, that is my uh, top icon finished, my format icon completely finished. And I'm ready then to move on to my second icon, the blue icon, which is the picture icon. So I'm going to tap it on my iPad to move to the image. So this is the backdrop for my text. And what IQ Deck does is it searches through the text that I've keyed in on my title slide and offers me a series of possibilities based on that. So in this case, it's searching through words like environment to find an appropriate backing picture. I can, however, if I want, just tap or click into the search bar and enter my own search term to find a picture that I prefer if the, the, the pre-generated ones aren't really what I'm looking for. So I can key in any search term, click search, and then just uh, here on my iPad, just swipe through these images just to find one that's suitable. Once I like one of them, I just simply tap on it to add that to my Haiku Deck presentation. Um, You'll note as well that it takes a while to download that image. Just add that to my presentation, but once it's in, that's my first slide finished. Next thing we need to do then is move on to the green icon, which is our layout. And that's really just where the text is going to sit on my Haiku Deck slide. Uh, so we do want it over to the left or to the right or centered in the middle of the screen. And uh, once we're happy with the layout, what you can then do is add this gray background to the text by choosing the on off. Really, if you have a dark uh, picture, you don't need to add a background. But here in this case, the background really brings the white font out.
Now you move on to the final icon, which is the yellow icon, and that's adding notes. So this is much the same as PowerPoint, except it's subdivided into public and private. If I want to add notes that anyone who views my Haiku deck can see, I make them public. If I want just notes for me and for my presentation, I choose private. And that's my first slide complete. So I'm going to add a new slide then, and to do that I just click the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner. And we're going to go through the same process again. First of all, choose the format. In this case, I just want to add some content, some text. Uh, type in whatever uh, the little piece of information, or whatever sentence or whatever quote that I want to add to my haiku deck slide. Uh, and once that is keyed in, um, that's my, my format button finished with. Uh, so I can move on then to the next icon down, the blue icon, the picture icon, um, and choose from one of the pictures that Haiku Deck suggests for me. Um, for instance, this picture. Once I'm happy, just click Done to add that picture to my slide. Choose a layout. Um, so I can choose bottom, top, left aligned, right aligned, uh, wherever it might be. And you'll get a sense yourself of where it fits in with your picture. So I think that's quite a good layout there. And then again, once you're finished, just click done. If I wanted to, I could add in notes as well, but I'm not going to in this case. I'm just going to be finished there with that slide. I want to add one final slide to my Haiku Deck presentation just to show you something a little different. So the same process again, icon by icon, start at the top, add my text in first. Um, so I've chosen my format and I'm going to key in a little bit of text for this slide. Now, however, when I move on to the blue icon, my picture icon, instead of adding an image, I'm going to select the next uh, icon along, which is chart, to add a chart to my Haiku Deck slide. In this case, I'm going to add a bar graph. Um, I can tap the edit units on the left hand side to change the value of my y axis there. Just increase that or change the number of intervals. I can tap the little plus icon on the right just to add extra columns. And once I'm finished, it's just a matter of typing my information into this chart and setting the values to be whatever values I need it to be for this chart in particular. And you can see how that starts to build up. And that's it, that's my chart complete. And again, I could add notes to that as well if I want to, um, but I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to move right back to the start now, back to my first slide. I'm going to click the play button in the top right corner to preview my Haiku Deck presentation. Uh, so here on the iPad, I'm swiping through slide by slide just to show you the presentation. Um, but again, if you're using the computer, you'd be using your arrow keys or your mouse clicks. Uh, and that gives you a sense then of what the presentation looks like. I'm going to navigate back to the main menu and I'm going to tap the share button next. This is the social aspect of Haiku Deck. I can change the privacy of my Haiku Deck slide so that anyone can view it or only certain people can view it. Uh, then what happens is that actually publishes to the web. So if I'm using this on an iPad, I can then also get it from a PC if I want to. There's a range then of ways I can share my Haiku Deck. I can use social networks like Facebook, Twitter. I can email it out to uh, those who I'm interested in. I can post it to my blog if I want it to. I can export it as a PowerPoint presentation or a keynote presentation on Mac. Or I can simply copy the URL to email out to others. And that's Haiku Deck in a nutshell.